Welcome to Nursing School Explained and this video in the series about chest physiotherapy that usually occurs in two stages. First of all is postural drainage and then second of all we have the chest percussion and vibration. And really the purpose of chest physiotherapy is to help mobilize secretions from the small to the large airway so the patient that can then expectorate them or spit them out or we can help them remove the secretions by suctioning them out. And conditions that we see um, that the patients benefit here from is anything with congestion or mucus production which can be pneumonia, chronic bronchitis, cystic fibrosis and other, any other um, situations that you can think about. Now for the chest percussion and vibration, we always want to do that over the affected area. And what's going to help us determine the affected area is either a chest x-ray and or our nursing assessment. And we always want to position the patient first to check out my other videos on the postural drainage where I go into more detail on those. And so for the chest percussion, it's just like what it sounds. We're actually percussing playing the drums on the patient's chest. And with that movement that's, that the percussion is causing, we help to break up these secretions and mobilize them from the smaller to the larger airway so that the patient can then get them out. So for the percussion, we actually want to have our hands cupped, the fingers flexed and together, and then the thumb very close to the index finger here so that we have this nice cup. And then as the patient inhales and exhales slowly and fully expanding their lungs, helping us to mobilize these secretions, we kind of very gently use our hands to um, cup or play the drums on the patient's affected area. Now we generally want to do that about one to three minutes or as tolerated by the patient and that all depends on various circumstances. Also check out my other video for certain contraindications of when we want to avoid chest percussion on a patient. Now vibration is very similar but instead of cupping our hands and performing the percussion we actually put our, flat, our hands flat on the patient's chest on that affected area and usually one hand over the other if you can at kind of a 90 degree angle to each other and we want to protect the skin so we want to have some sort of a gown in between we want to stay away from the breast tissue and our female patients uh, and be very mindful of not um, causing any injury to their chest so one hand is on top of the other the patient again inhales and exhales slowly and on the exhale it helps if the, when they say 99 or s -s 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 -s, because that in a, is an additional vibration of the chest just like we assess with the um, whisper pectoriloquy for example and um, it helps to even mobilize these secretions further and as the patient exhales with our hands against the chest wall we push down and then gently vibrate the hands and that movement is going to reverberate through the chest wall down to these airways and kind of help manually break up these secretions as the patient inhales and exhales deeply the lungs will expand and we will help to break up these secretions. And we want to do that for about three exhalations or as long as the patient um, tolerates it. Now there's actually nifty tools for patients that do have a lot of mucus production. Mostly I've seen it used for patients with cystic fibrosis where that congestion can get pretty severe. And there are actually vests that the patient that can then wear and that vests acts as the vibration device which of course is much more forceful than we could do with our two hands. Now after we are done with the percussion or vibration we want to ask the patient to sit up and take some deep slow breaths and then try to get out any of these secretions because now we've mobilized them from the smaller to the large airways but we still need to encourage them to actually get them out of their system. So they, then we help them to cough up or suction the secretion so that they can get rid of them once and for all and we might even need to collect the sputum sample and send that off to the lab. Thanks so much for watching this video. Check out the other videos about other important aspects of just physiotherapy and check back with me right here on Nursing School Explained. See you soon.